Have you ever gotten early access to a fire new game in development and you knew that it would give you an advantage over other players? If you love RPGs, then you're probably all too familiar with this. The bottom line is, getting in early is a huge advantage! It's huge! That's why you need to know about this new RPG that's opening up pre-season ahead of their main game launch and how you can get started earning now. It's mission time. Welcome back, agents. Secret Agent Stash here, and we are at GIA Headquarters, the Gaming Intelligence Agency. Now, as they say, time in the markets is better than trying to time the markets. And that's the same for new games, too. This is nothing new to you hardcore gamers out there, and recent games like Diablo made it very clear that paying for that big Founders Edition bundle could totally be worth it since you get access to the game before everyone else does. A really good RPG does not come along very often, so when I saw that Big Time announced they were heading into what they call preseason, I knew I had to get you this top secret intel. Now, if you don't already know about Big Time, it's a new RPG that leads you on an epic journey through space and time in a quest to save all of history from collapsing into the void where you have to watch this guy over and over. Give me time. Big Time has been in development for the past three years, and while they've had steady updates to their gameplay, this preseason update is going to be their biggest change yet. I've played just about every iteration up till now, and I have to point out that the team does a really great job of making the whole experience of onboarding seamless. They have easy social signups, you can do purchases with credit card, no need for a crypto wallet or any real blockchain knowledge required to get started. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Is it? Is there an echo in here? I Look, starting out as a whole new player can always be difficult in an RPG and Big Time Now has a revamped tutorial that does a great job of walking you through everything. This is probably one of the main reasons why there's already a pretty good community around Big Time even in this early stage. Gamers jumping on this one early already found out that they can earn from their time in game two. How do you ask? Well, this game uses NFTs. <gasps> now I know, I know everyone thinks they're a scam, but look, big time is doing big things. I'm popping my collar for them, right? The NFTs you can find in the game are very rare and they're limited in quantity and they can be sold in the marketplace too. There really is nothing like the feeling of taking down a boss and an NFT item drops and everyone just goes insane! Yeah, oh. there it is. <laughs> oh my Hold god, it. Rare. 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 Nice. Oh, oh, shit. oh legendary! Holy shit! Let's go, let's go! What is it? Yes, Medium go. space legendary! Woo! Look, maybe you don't like what you have heard about NFTs to date, but this system of earning in-game is the only way that players can unlock cosmetic skins, as Big Time does not sell them to players at all. So a pretty unique way to distribute cosmetics, if you ask me. Look, the transparency that this NFT system brings to Big Time is pretty helpful in knowing what an item should be worth on the marketplace, and you can see that people are already buying and selling quite a bit here in early access. Finding NFTs while you play is not the only way to earn in this game either! While the process is the most complicated aspect of this game by far, you can earn their in-game crypto-based gold called Big Time. This token is vital to gameplay as you need it to unlock all the new features coming in this preseason update. But the Big Time token is brand new with this release and it can be generated through your just typical gameplay, right? Just play it. But you do need to have some paid items to unlock this. Namely, one of the brand new Time Wardens. These Time Wardens allow you to craft hourglasses, which can then hold time crystals, which are what you allow you to actually earn these big time tokens while you're playing. Now, the hourglass does need to be replenished fairly often with those time crystals I was talking about earlier, and that's pretty much the only way to do it. Now, of course, the time crystals are premium currency, which is purchased from the game. So as you can see, it's a multi-layered system that's fairly complex, but is built this way to support a kind of robust and cyclic economy. That's really the whole point here. Now, like I said earlier, this in-game earnable gold is needed to unlock a lot of the new features included with this brand new update, which is one of the things is just crafting. They've introduced new additions of the Forge, the Armory, and the Time Wardens. Now, let's take a look at my latest Intel report here and break down the game by the numbers. 
All right, this preseason release of Big Time, we have six fully playable character classes with all unique play style and gear. There are 10 craftable cosmetic armor and weapon skins in rarities common through unique one of ones. That's pretty cool, one of ones. A bonus of eight new sets of armor skins are non-craftable, along with 30 non-craftable weapon skins too. A lot of non-crafting. Uh, you can craft up to 10 different rarities of our hourglasses to maximize your in-game earnings. That's how you make that loot. There are a total of 10 different mystery boxes you can buy that have a chance at in-game utility items that are NFTs, and that's what it's all about. Look, what it comes down to is, you can see, this is a massive update for big time, but if you're not into crafting in an RPG and you just prefer to kind of like hack and slash and <laughs> Then, they got something for you. The new prestige portals are exactly what you're looking for. These are new dungeon instances that you actually spend big time tokens in order to unlock. These special prestige portals offer an increased chance of getting new cosmetic NFT items. Crafting in this game is already looking like it's gonna be quite involved, so having some fun hack and slash, easy to earn way to kind of get new skins is a great balancing feature here. While all these new updates are a huge accomplishment, I would have also liked to have seen a bit more added to the storyline and quest system here, along with maybe some more enemy and map types to kind of diversify the experiences a little bit. Regardless, Big Time is doing a great job in gearing up for the release sometime next year. And if you jump in now, you'll have a huge head start over everyone else that can't help but jump on that bandwagon when it rolls by next year. So if you're ready to get into Big Time now and you've never played before, there are a few ways you can do this, which can be a little difficult to kind of understand on their website right now. But the most straightforward way is to buy a space from their marketplace. Spaces work like your house in the game and they allow you to customize your setup and expand it in cool ways to support your play style. Owning a space gets you access to the game immediately and it's the cheapest one right now. I think you can get a small rare space for about 45 bucks in their marketplace. Make sure you enter in code CRYPTOSTASH when you check out the marketplace there for a little bonus gift if you use my code. So if you're looking for a free route to get in the game, I also have some access codes I'll be giving out in my Discord link below as well as during my live stream so make sure you jump into both if you want to get started with big time for free free <laughs> instead of coughing up that money for that space all right agents that's all we have for today as always this briefing never happened secret agent stash over and out secret agent stash secret agent stash